Hello, everybody. Critical Mass for Monday, August 27th. Jonathan's last Monday in this apartment that he's lived in since July 1st, 1999. But it's a long, long, long time. And, I, and it's time for a change, I guess. Well, I have no choice. And I am probably going to be going out with, without television starting on um, Thursday. Well, I am. Uh, time Warner up there, lose NFL Network, which is going to kill me because, you know, they're going to show Thursday Night Football all season, so... It's kind of great you're in an area where you have no choice of what you can watch. It's time one or nothing. I try to do uh, direct TV, but they said for insurance purposes, I can't have a dish. And I looked all around the windows near me. There are no dishes. There should be. That would be the ultimate one because then I would li never leave the house on a Sunday because I'd have Sunday NFL ticket, which means I get every game, and I'd be done for about, I don't know, eight, nine hours every Sunday. But it's a new journey, new chapter of my life, so I'm ready to move on and uh, see what happens. So I wrote some stuff down today. You know, this is for Pop-Tart. Defriending friends, friends on Facebook. They're not really friends. I just started going through and I realized a lot of people aren't even on Facebook anymore. And they're people that I were ta was talking to that I don't really care about what they're doing or what's going on, on with their lives. I had like 400-something friends. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't even see even five of those people that are on Facebook. So what's the point? How do you guys feel about it, huh? It's kind of like r ripping off a Band-Aid. You do it quick, it's all over with. That's what Peanut would say, right, P? Peanut, how you doing? Yeah, she's looking at me. It was raining outside, but I think it's stopping now. This weather's kind of crazy today. Doing some packing, so I wanted to get this in, before, in between. Um, breaking Bad last night. You know, for people who watch it, hey, who don't watch it, I don't know what to tell you. You really should watch it. I really just started watching it in the last year. Watched the first three seasons on Netflix. Season four I bought on Blu-ray, and I'm on season five next Sunday, the season finale, which really isn't. They're just making the season last that much longer. But uh, I just, you know, you watch a show like that, you're like, when's enough is enough? When is enough enough? You know, it's like, you know, you have a lot of money, but, you know, you get a certain amount of money, but you want more. Well, Scarface did the same thing, and I just think of his nose in a pile of coke. The Ayo, get the Ayo. And, uh... I don't know. I love the show. I do. I do. I wasn't happy with last night's predicament, but um, people have to die. It's just the way, you know, and some of us want to just die peacefully. I don't know how you die peacefully with a gunshot wound to the stomach where you're bleeding out. It's got to hurt like a motherfucker, but... And then you just go. But uh, it was a, it's a good show. Looking forward to next Sunday, see what happens. You know, little plot twist turns. Thinking about uh, getting my own lab going. Actually, no, I don't. I'm not chemically inclined at all, or science inclined at all. So I don't think that's going to work for me. But uh, I was just rambling at that point. Okay, what else did I want to talk about today? Yeah, I watched the show episodes of Matt LeBlanc to season finale. Yeah, like a cut. You know, I was just like, eh. So uh, I'm going to lose that channel too, and um, because I watched that in Weeds, and you know, episodes of the season finale last night, and they just kind of like. Just was there, you know. It was just like okay, pizza. And then weeds. Uh, there's going to be three episodes left, but this is the last season of weeds. And I'll be honest with you, they're kind of just. Last season was great. I thought they got back on track, and I feel like now they're just going to try to tie up every loose end, and it's not going to work. And it's. Yeah, I don't know where they're going to go with it, to be honest with you. But it uh, doesn't matter because I lose Showtime as a Thursday, which means no more weeds episodes. But I got to live with it. Certain things you have to live with in life, and. Uh, Time Warner Cable sucks, and, uh, you know, I'm looking for work, so uh, right now no cable, but in the future, we'll see what happens. This stuff's not stopping it. Our time together, not stopping at all, okay, so I talked about that. Yeah, and the last thing I had on here was people acting tougher through text. Uh, since we're selling the apartment, the buyer wants to come and look at the goddamn apartment, and she's texting me back and forth. I'm like, listen, I'm moving out. What time can you be out of there? What time can that person come? I'm like, you know, if you take 45 seconds and call me, we can solve this. I go, listen, I'm moving out. There's boxes everywhere, I, and I don't feel like typing after a while, but this, it's like I get this text, boom, from this, this uh, broker, and she's like, I need I'm at, this is the time, and you're like, okay. So you want to be here tomorrow? What time? Well, there's boxes everywhere. The apartment's a mess, and I don't think she can really walk around. I kind of want to see the cunt who's buying my place, though. She's from Merrick, Long Island. My cousin's from Merrick. Jewish-American princess. She just sounds like... She has, like, a really Jewish name. I don't know. Garfink, some shit. I don't even know what her name is, but whatever. I found her on Facebook. 
just looked like some jappy little bitch that I hated when I went to camp as a kid. So not a big fan, not, not a big fan at all. So did a little more packing. Was watching Howard and Kumar Christmas Extravaganza, Ganza, and uh, of course my uh, DV, my uh, on-demand button went ape shit, and I couldn't watch it anymore, which is really awesome because why should I want to watch Harold and Kumar? I love Harold and Kumar. I could watch it every day, and I'm really in the, in the mood to watch Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. So I'm gonna find that if it's online, I'm gonna watch that shit right now. Um, what else did I want to talk about today? Um, it did a workout this morning. Um, and just like looking around the apartment and what I can pay, what bills I have to pay. Oh, you just reminded me Verizon Wireless. I got to switch my uh, contact info. Yeah, we got a big change. I've had the same address for a long time. Now it's time to switch and go somewhere new. It hurts. It hurts a lot. So, uh, I don't know what else to talk about right now. Just uh, living the dream, I guess, folks. Just living the dream, moving, and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love you. Critical mass out.